Did you know that gold-laden ships have already appeared in the endless sand seas of the desert? That here, next to millions and millions of animal mummies, there may even be the gateway to a blazing hell. You want to know what other breathtaking things have come to light in the desert? Then make yourself comfortable, press the like and subscribe button, and watch our video until the end. The Gold Ship Seven years ago, some miners made an unusual discovery. They came across the wreck of a Portuguese ship that was thought to have been lost for 500 years, in the middle of the Namibian desert, no less. But that was not all. In addition, a gigantic gold treasure was slumbering in the belly of the ship. After the excavators of the diamond company, De Beers, had uncovered the wreck, the archaeologists confirmed that what we are dealing with was Bomb Jesus. The ship had set sail from Lisbon in 1533 and disappeared a short time later with its crew on the way to India. Rediscovered in a drained lagoon, the excavations brought to light not only gold, but also navigation equipment and bones. But religious artifacts and clothing had also lain dormant under the hot desert sand over the past centuries. For the experts, these accompanying objects are of particular interest. They give us a fascinating glimpse into the important historical era. While the Portuguese seafarers were on the threshold of opening up the known world at that time, comparatively little is known about everyday life at that time. And even what led to the sinking of the bomb Jesus at that time can no longer be said with absolute certainty. Experts suspect the ship fell victim to a combination of excessive cargo and bad weather. What is certain, however, is that the ancient gold coins still fetch a pretty penny today. Their value is put at 10.5 million euros. Monolith of Utah It is November 18, 2020, when a strange metal steel appears in the desert of Utah. This is actually not quite true. An analysis of satellite images showed that the object had graced the landscape since at least 2016. Made of precisely cut, apparently stainless steel, the Utah monolith immediately fired the most spectacular theories. Are we dealing with a secret message here? Was the steel possibly erected by extraterrestrial beings? In the days following the discovery, the rush of visitors was boundless, much to the chagrin of the authorities. But already 10 days later, the spook had an end. The steel was removed by some private people, officially in order to stop the rush of all the onlookers and to protect the area from damages. 8 million dog mummies. That the ancient Egyptians had an extraordinary passion for animal worship is common knowledge. However, a breathtaking sensational find recorded a few years ago in Saqqara shows what unimaginable dimensions the cult really took on at that time. Thus, the researchers discovered in the catacombs beside a holy Inubis temple as many as 8 million mummified puppies and adult dogs. While the temple complex had been built in honor of the jackal-headed god of death, the experts came across the mummified remains of other animals in the catacombs. These included baboons and bulls, in addition to hawks and ibises. However, many of the mummies have decayed over the centuries or were stolen by grave robbers. In some cases, the mortal remains were even used as fertilizer. While the catacombs were likely created in the 4th century BC, experts found something in the ceiling that they never expected the fossil of a 48 million year old marine vertebrate. Most likely it is an ancestor of today's manatees, but whether the ancient Egyptians took note of the fossilized bones at the time is uncertain. The Gate to Hell Who does not know it? You just want to drill for natural gas and accidentally open the gate to hell. Okay, admittedly, that the uncontrollably burning crater in the desert of Karagum really leads to Satan incarnate is probably more an urban legend than a scientific finding. It is unclear, however, what led to the 70-meter wide and 30-meter deep structure being on fire for an estimated 50 years. As briefly touched on earlier, the most common theory is based on a test well from the early 1970s that went awry. According to this theory, workers at the time encountered an underground cavern that collapsed during drilling, leaving a gaping crater. Concerned that toxic gas might be leaking, officials decided to light the well on fire. Contrary to the original assumption, however, the flames did not extinguish after a few days, but are happily flickering away to this day. Since the Soviets were meticulous about sweeping all failures under the table, no records of the incident exist. 
Alternatively, there is the assumption that we are dealing with a natural formation that could have been caused by a lightning strike. However, in early 2022, Turkmen President Berdim Yunanov announced that the flames would be extinguished promptly for the benefits of the environment and the health of the surrounding population. However, patience is still required until that time comes. Those responsible are currently still looking for experts who can handle these tasks. Sand Falls We all know waterfalls, but have you ever heard of Sand Falls? A few years ago, a clip surfaced on the web showing us something almost unbelievable. Instead of thundering masses of water, here we see massive amounts of sand plummeting into the depths. But how is that even possible? Are we dealing with a hitherto unknown natural phenomenon, or can the spectacle also be explained by conventional means? This much in advance, the recordings are actually real. Captured on film near the Saudi Arabian capital Riyadh, the sandfalls are actually the result of heavy rainfall. While there are not many permanent rivers in Saudi Arabia, the country is home to a large number of so-called wadis, dried up riverbeds that can flood after heavy rainfall. So, the corresponding video shows us a real waterfall formed after a flood, carrying huge amounts of sand with it. Desert Glass When Howard Carter opened the legendary tomb of Tutankhamun, he also found a jeweled breastplate inside. In the center of the so-called pectoral, there was again a sacred scarab made of green glass. Most likely, the ancient Egyptians had no idea how this glass was created, but today we are smarter. In fact, we are dealing with a material that is literally not of this world. So, about 29 million years ago, a meteorite hit the Earth with so much energy that it changed a gigantic area of the Libyan desert into a tender green glass landscape. While the crater, which the impact ate into the ground at the time, was still not discovered, Tutankhamun possessed, by the way, still another artifact with extraterrestrial roots, a dagger whose iron came likewise from a meteorite. E.T. On April 26, 2014, the world finally had certainty. Yes, E.T. had indeed been buried in the New Mexico desert in the early 80s. However, it was not an alien made of flesh and blood, but countless copies of unsold video games. After Atari had bought the adventure game E.T. the Extraterrestrial in December 1992 to the market, the hoped-for box office hit turned out to be an absolute disaster. This was primarily due to the fact that the game, which was cobbled together under immense time pressure, still appears in the list of the worst games of all time. After the sales debacle was perfect, Atari had the surplus goods secretly disposed of in a landfill near the city of Alamogordo. And although rumors of the buried modules had been circulating for several decades, it would take until 2014 before the urban legend became a reality. The Lost River The Sahara did not always have the dust-free face it presents to us today. Scientific studies have shown that the desert has blossomed several times in the past 200,000 years and each time for several thousand years. While the last dry phase of the Sahara occurred between the years 4000 and 3500 BC, researchers have discovered that this was once one of the largest water catchments areas on Earth. Thus, the experts of the Mauritania identified a submarine canyon off the coast, which turned out to be the work of a massive river. After the former existence of the body of water was confirmed with the help of satellite images, the Lost River was given the name Tamarinaset. Experts suspect that the gigantic stream had a great influence on the early settlers of the region. Its drying up may even have set in motion a massive migration of peoples. Desert Whales Given the fact that the Sahara today is one of the driest regions on Earth, the following discovery seems almost unbelievable. And yet, in the north of Egypt, the Wadi al Hitan actually harbors countless whale skeletons. This is naturally due to the fact that about 40 million years ago, the Tethrys Sea was still sloshing away here. But over time, tectonic forces lifted the area, causing the ocean to recede further and further. Embedded in sediments, the mortal remains of the sea dwellers were perfectly preserved for posterity. In detail, we are dealing with the bones of Archaeoceti, an early, long-extinct suborder of whales. 
In addition to the 250 whale fossils, shark teeth, coral, shells, and fossilized mangrove roots have also been discovered there. While the site provides researchers with a unique window into the living world of the past, motorists did not take the historical significance very seriously. Since many valuable fossils have already been flattened and destroyed, the Valley of Whales is now closed to cars. Feel free to leave us a thumbs up and a subscription to support us for free and stay up to date at the same time. We are looking forward to your comments.